Hey guys, and welcome back to GCC. Uh, I'm Damon, and I know, I know I spent a long time. Uh, I just finished finals uh, yesterday, so it's been crazy, but I'm, I'm ready to get back into some videos. So I got my coffee, and I think I'm ready to go. So today, I want to check out the Western Digital 160 gigabyte. I lost it. I don't have it anymore. It was $11 on like a 15 hour flash sale, and I was like, eh. Why not? Like, I just wanted to check it out. 10,000 RPM hard drive sounds pretty cool. It's a two and a half inch form factor uh, and is thick and is hot. Someone's at my door and uh, it, it runs really hot. Um, not hot enough to be like worrisome. And it, it, you could buy a, a two and a half inch to three and a half inch hard drive adapter that acted as like a, a cooling stack, like a cooling fin for it. Um, Mine came just bare, just a just a plain hard drive, nothing special. So I ran a couple benchmarks on it. I uh, just wanted to see like how it performed when compared to a 240 gigabyte SanDisk uh, SSD plus. Um, turns out it sucks, to be completely honest with you. So I know you can't probably see this, and I probably should have been more prepared and like had notes or something, but ta-da! The SanDisk SSD plus, uh, the sequential writes were 186 megs reads was 524 versus this abysmal western digital hard drive at 123 read 122 writes uh and then everything else afterwards this hard drive just completely fell apart like those reads and writes are not atrocious i would say that's about average for a hard drive uh but the 4k 4k uh, reads and writes one megabyte per second is just <laughs> it's honestly laughable um so after i ran these uh benchmarks i did a, a little bit of digging and these looked like hp pre-built uh server hard drives uh they were not sold directly by western digital to the public they were sold uh in hp units so is that they're, it's obviously pretty old. They don't make this hard drive anymore. I don't, I'm not even sure if they make the Velociraptor series at all anymore, to be honest. Honestly, I don't know really why I made this video. Uh, I don't even know why I bought the hard drive. It was $11 and it looked kind of cool. And it spins really fast. And that's, that's about it. That's all I got. Don't buy it. I mean, you can buy a 120 gig SSD for like 20 bucks. And I would prefer that over this thing, even though it's double the price. Uh, it's loud. Like when I start to, I, I downloaded Path of Exile to test how it operated uh, during the, you know, loading games and stuff. And it was fast, it was fine. It was really... F mm. So when I when I uh, tested out game load times and stuff, it was, it was fast. It was perfectly fine for that kind of thing. Um, I would definitely not trust my actual like operating system on this hard drive. When I pulled up the Crystal Disk info, there was nothing on it. They completely wiped all the information off of it. There was zero hours of uh, of on time, zero gig gigs of read or writes to this hard drive. Uh, so you, you honestly have no idea how much it was used. I really doubt it's a brand new hard drive. <laughs> so I don't know. Don't buy one, I guess. That's about all. It's slow. It's slow compared to any SSD. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>